Now there is a certain type of show we all see on TV nowadays that has a lot of people thinking they can do the same thing in real life. Check out what I'm actually talking about. Come on, we've all watched the house flipping show marathons on TV and thought, I could do that, right? It seems so easy. Find a fixer upper, do some fun projects, maybe hire a contractor and sell it for a huge profit, right? But come on now, is it really that easy? Joining us to talk about the essential questions we should be asking before buying that first flip house is CEO and founder of Fortune Builders, former NFL player and television host and author, Than Merrill. Than, I have a feeling these TV shows make it look way easier than it really is. There's probably a lot more behind it, right? You're absolutely right. There is a lot of work that goes on behind the scenes that you don't necessarily see on a 30 minute or hour long TV episode. In fact, there's months of preparation that goes in even before you buy the project. Just finding the, the property, finding something that you can buy under market value, appraising it, doing your due diligence, raising the money, then trying to find the contractors to actually work on the project. And that's all before you even close on the property. And so if people are thinking about maybe dipping their toe in the water and getting started, it's really important to get an education before you go out there and just buy your first project. Well, I'll tell you, this is actually my husband's dream is to try to flip homes and do all this. He would love to do something like this. But I said I said the same thing you're saying. There's a lot more to it than, than we probably know. Well, how do we know if this is the right venture for us? What should we find out first? You know, I've been doing it for 13 years now and I absolutely love it. You know, if you enjoy being your own boss, if you're the type of person who's self-motivated, a self-starter, I mean, it really is an entrepreneurial venture. At the same time, you have to be comfortable taking calculated risks as an investor and living with a certain amount of risk. Uh, another thing is you have to be comfortable talking with people and raising money because you're always going to have another project lined up that you're going to need to get funding for. So if, if profit's your only motive, a lot of times it's not going to be enough to have a, a long-term successful career. You really have to enjoy the process. I mean, every day I wake up excited because there's something new and I'm going to learn that day. And so if those things sound appealing to you, then it's definitely something you, you you want to consider well what would you say you've been doing it for so many years what are maybe some of the biggest challenges just on a day-to-day -day project that you think that people don't know about I think one of the biggest mistakes new investors make is they'll underestimate the repair cost to actually fix the property up. And so a great piece of advice I could give to your viewers is whatever you think your construction budget's going to be, add 10% as a contingency or a fudge factor in case you make a mistake. And if the numbers still make sense to buy the project, that's going to help set you up from, uh, for success uh, from day one. Well, and of course, Dan, we know that uh, you've been in the NFL, you were an author. So this is maybe a little bit different outside of that. So I have to ask, do you think that somebody needs to have like a construction background or maybe a real estate background? Or can we kind of get into this if that's not really what we've been doing in the past? You know, it definitely helps to have a construction background or a real estate background, but it's not absolutely necessary. What's most important is that you don't just jump in and buy a project and, and get your experience learning on the job site. You really want to spend three, six, nine months beforehand educating yourself about how the business works, about the mechanics of the deal. You want to understand um, the local market and then apply a business model to, the, to that market. And that's the first piece of advice. I, just get a good education before jumping in. Well, I'm going to make sure my husband watches this down because uh, he definitely wants to get into something like this. And you've had some really great advice. But is there somewhere online we can also go to get some more information? Yeah, if you want more uh, information about how to get started investing in real estate, you can visit my website. It's thanmerrill.com, and I have some great information on there for you if you are looking to get started. Once again, that's thanmerrill.com. Than, thank you so much uh, for taking a moment to talk to us and give us all this great advice and kind of give us a behind-the-scenes look. Yeah, thanks for having me on. Don't go anywhere. The Morning Blend, we'll be right back.